Hiya guys, <clears throat> Terry from Smooth Watch up here, coming at you with something a little bit different from my normal motorcycles. Yes, a F4U-5 Corsair uh, by Hobby Boss in 148 scale. Um, so it's a, a wee inbox review for, for you. I thought I would try something different to get my mojo back. So the kit number for this one is 80389. Of course it's in 148 scale. It's uh, still available in most um, major uh, modelling shops in the UK, round about £25, uh, which is not bad for a, a nice big aeroplane. Um, it first came out uh, as a new tool in 2012, and they've, they've basically, this is a rebox, this is a 2014 rebox. Every time they rebox it, it's just for like a different model. Um, you know, they have the F4U5. I'm not a big plane expert, but different variants of the same plane. And there's been lots of reboxes uh, since this one. So this is uh, represents a US Navy version. So I will just flick onto the side of the box. So um gives you two sets of decals. One for the US Navy VF14 CVG-1. I'll let you read it all. Um, but one version uh, of the aircraft. Okay. And on the... Other side of the box, it gives you another version um, of the aircraft uh, in slightly different colours and things like that. And there's uh, the kit number, uh, 80389. So I've not got a lot of experience with Hobby Boss, but I have been told um, that it is a particularly good plane. So I'll just adjust my camera angle and we shall pop the lid off the box. I'll try and keep this as brief as possible. I haven't actually looked inside this box at all. Um, so we shall have a look and see what we get. So we have, oh, this is nice. We have some um, colour call-outs and they give you um, Mr. Hobby colours, Vallejo, uh, Tamiya colours and some of the Humbrol, uh, which is quite good. Uh, I quite like the Mr. Hobby um, paints myself. So uh, obviously the colours in white, if I remember rightly, see if I can get this right. Now, I've got some of these colours. What ones have I got? i got a wee set uh, to go over this. And... C365... Right. The ones in the white boxes, like the H77, they're the Aqueous versions. Uh, which is Mr. Hobby Aqueous. So that's, oh, that's the ones in the white boxes. Ones in the black boxes are the um, cellulose or lacquer type paints, which is what's in the set that I got. Um, so I should have enough of those. Um, so yeah, nice wee decal call out in colour and uh, a colour painting guide. So that's nice. Uh, the destructions, little booklet in black and white. Um, tells you the usual stuff, what all the different symbols mean. Um, a sprue layout telling you what's on all the sprues and as usual uh, with aeroplanes, now it's been a while since I've done any aeroplane but it gives you all, uh, building all the cockpit and everything up first um, it is a decal for the instrument panel but it's a really small cockpit so I'm not worrying about uh, photo etch detail up or anything next big one is all the engine detail and then we're getting onto the fuselage and the, the wing the wing routes themselves. So they build that up, obviously, along with the undercarriage as well, if you're going to have the undercarriage down. And this is just all air intakes in the main sort of, the main body of it in the wing routes. Then goes on to putting the engine, which you've already made, and the cockpit, which you've already made, and all the various um, rear landing gear and stuff like that in between uh, the two fuselage halves and then you've got the nose cone part and then the part you've built previously with the wing roots on I quite like that idea actually get that in first uh, your tail tail wings things like that doesn't look a very difficult kit and as I say I've been told it goes together really well uh, then we're into putting the wing halves together and whether you want the the undercarriage up or down depends on which um, flaps you put in not flaps um, doors, undercarriage doors you put in looks like we can do movable flaps on this, I will need to double check or it may be fixed flaps but uh, the ailerons and everything on the wings and then we go on to attaching the wings, obviously the cockpit glass which is in two pieces so it looks like you can do a, a cockpit uh, open, 
Uh, obviously, you've got your rudder there as well. Again, I don't. I, it's got a pin on the bottom, so it looks like you can move that if you want to pose it in a certain position. Um, yeah, the wings onto the main um, wing roots. Putting the undercarriage in, and it looks pretty straightforward. And then you've got uh, obviously your your uh, extended range tanks, fuel tanks, and the propeller. So it looks a nice straightforward build. So it looks easy enough laid out. Let's see what we get in the box. I'll just what I'll do is I'll just pull all the sprues. I'll put this to one side. That's what I'll do. Use your brain, Terry. I'll put this to one side and I'll just pull out one one thing at a time. So we get a separate bag here with a nose cone, and they're all sealed. So I shall get my craft knife out. Let's have a little look and see what. It's a new kit, so I haven't seen any of this as yet. So we get some rather nice. For those of you that like your rivets, we get some rather nice rivet detail on there. Um, it's nicely moulded. Doesn't seem to be a lot of flash on it. Nose cone. So that's a separate nice wee nose cone. That's 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 quite nice actually. There's a couple of wee bits that you'll need to clean up. Um, seam lines here and there, but that's nothing. Nothing major. So I'll just pop that back in the bag to keep it nice. I am going to have a go at building this. I won't be filming the build, but uh, I'll give it a go. And then we have another piece, which is also uh, for the nose engine cowl. That's a smaller piece. This will be the part that actually goes onto the fuselage. And again, it's nice crisp detail on it. It's looking nicely made. Not going to need too much clean up on that. And it's, yeah, it's the bit that goes behind that bit. So, yeah. It's pretty straightforward, nicely made. I used to build 176 uh, aircraft in that in my youth, but uh, my eyes are too old for them now, so I'm going to try try my hand at 148. It's been a while, so we shall see. Now we've got a bag here with... I'm assuming these must be delicate parts because they're covered in this nice foamy stuff. So let's see if we can find the start of that. There it is. Yeah, so I normally build motorcycles, so I'm trying my hand at aircraft. I've got a few 148th aircraft, so there will be some more reviews coming along. Ah, love. Oh, they've got the clear parts all nicely wrapped up in bubble wrap. Now, there appears to be really nice optical clarity on these. Really quite nicely made, actually. Yeah, and it looks like you've got two different, I haven't really looked at the instructions, but you've got two different uh, glass rearward parts, so I don't know if one's for one open or for just a different type of aircraft, but uh, yeah, that looks lovely, so we'll keep that all in the bubble wrap, keep it all nice and safe, so I do like the way they're packaging that, unlike your Revell kits and stuff where all the clear parts are just jammed in with everything else, so I'll just... Gently pop that back in there to keep that nice. So that's excellent. Nice bit of attention to detail there on protecting the, the clear glass parts. So I'll just put these back in the box just to give myself some room. Right, now we've got something else wrapped up uh, in protective um, foam again. So let's have a look. Everything's all individually wrapped, which I do like. I'm not really a fan of everything being bunged in one bag. Now there's something sticking through this, so I'm hoping whatever it is that's sticking through this isn't broken. Ooh, scary. Let's just see what we've... Oops. Right, so, yeah, that bit is sticking through. But it has protected it. Oh, right, this looks like exhaust manifolds, and they are quite delicate. So again, they've put them in a foam. There are going to be a few little seam lines and stuff along the edge of them just because of the moulding, but that's not going to be hard to clean up. There doesn't appear to be any horrible flash or anything. Just a couple of wee seam lines. You need to be careful with the, the sprue gates when you're cutting them because they are quite big. Um, so some care and attention when you're putting them together. But uh, yeah, a couple of other wee parts on there. Very nice. So I'll keep them in there as well. So... Nice attention to detail there, um, trying to protect the delicate parts, I do like that. Uh, this is the first hobby um, boss kit that I've uh, ever had a wee look at. So, Right, so, next sprue. Right, this will be the, the wing roots. 
I think that's what you call them, but that's that's what I'm going to call them. So let's we'll go down onto the bench for a better look at these, will we? Let's just get that on there and a little bit of a zoom in. So as you can see here, there's a lot of nice rivet detail and everything on there. So this is the the main part of the the fuselage that the goes together that accepts the wings on either side and goes on to um, underneath the main fuselage part itself. So I do like the way that's constructed. Um, there doesn't appear to be much flash or anything on it. Um, any ejector pin gates or marks appear to be on the inside, which is nice. It's always nice when they do that. It's very crisply moulded. And some nice... Nice panel lines there. Some some models is, is very, very faint with their panel lines, but it's got some nice panel lines there. It'll take a nice wash or whatever once we get it all painted up. So that's very nice indeed. I'll just pull my camera back a bit again. So I like that. It's always nice when you've got crisp detail so that you can, when you do all your weathering and stuff like that, you've got, there's lots of bags here, but uh, I'll try and get through it as quick as I can. As I say, I'm more used to doing motorcycles and I can rattle through them, but this is a, a nice 148 scale aircraft. So here we have the main fuselage halves. Let's get a little uh, zoom in on those and see what these look like. And again, we've got some nice, nice rivet detail, some nice panel line markings on them. Um, not an ounce of flash on this kit. Obviously, there's a few wee bits that you'll need to tidy up here and there, but um, lovely, lovely, lovely detail on it now. What's that up there? Oh, that's another riveted bit. But yeah, they're nice, crisp, lovely panel lines in that. That will take a nice wee wash later on um, once the, once the model's all painted. So that's the two fuselage hefts. And it's uh, <coughs> everything's in a... Quite a firm grey plastic. I wouldn't say it's a soft uh, plastic, but quite a firm grey plastic. So the next sprue we have looks to be um, engine parts, undercarriage. Let's have a wee look and see what's in this bag. Oh, you will open. You've not got it fully open, Terry. You fool. There we go. So we have a sprue here which has, um, this looks like intake manifolds on the engine. Of course, we've got the, the two banks of cylinders there. Um, undercarriage parts. This looks... Mm, don't know, that's a tiny, tiny little part. There's a lot of nice little parts on here. So, yeah, quite a lot of fiddly little parts you'll need to take care of because the sprue gates are quite big. That all seems to be undercarriage type stuff. And then we've got the, the wheels... Now, I know you can get resin aftermarket sets for these, but I'm going to be sticking with uh, what comes in the box. And we have that's a bulkhead there for part of the cockpit, by the looks of it, and some more undercarriage stuff. So they appear to be putting it into sections so you can find stuff easily. Sorry for the crinkling. I'm just keeping everything in the bags so that I can uh, keep everything good for when I go to start making it. Right, another bag. Oh, we're getting there. Right, let's have a look what's in this one. So for 25 quid, you're getting quite a lot of plastic, actually. And it's all nicely packaged. So what's this one? Right, we have the nice big propeller. I like that. It's got a nice lines on the end, which should make, a, should make painting the little yellow tips a bit easier. Um, I think we're still getting into more manifolds and stuff here. I don't know if there's variants, because remember the ones that were in the, the plastic bubble wrap? Maybe there's different variants. This looks like the floor of the cockpit. And we've got the side cockpit detail there. Don't think there's an awful lot of detail. Well, we'll have a wee scroll in and see what, uh, see what it looks like. Let's just do a little bit of a scroll in. Yeah, there's some little instrumenty bits on the side panels. So a little bit of detail painting there. What else have we got? This is the uh, front air intake parts for the wings, I believe. 
Um, that looks like the floor of the cockpit. There's your instrument. I'll get it the right way around. Your instrument cluster. And you have to put all your decals on, so that might be a bit of fun. But yeah, overall, everything looks quite nice. There's a, another bulkhead there. Uh, yep. Uh, propeller. Nose. And there's another... Oh, there looks like more than one um, instrument panel. Again, I've not read all the instructions, but everything looks lovely and clear. Um, nicely moulded, not too much flash. You'll just have your usual nubs and everything to clean up. That looks really nice. It's looking a really nice kit. We're, we've only got a couple left to go. We're nearly there. And everything's falling about everywhere. Do excuse me. It's a while since I've done one of these reviews. Put that in the rubbish. Apologies. Yeah, so uh, I've I've got a sorry for knocking the camera. I've got a fondness for propeller type aircraft. I'm not really into jets, and I thought, well, if I'm going to do some propeller type aircraft, I shall get 148 scale. It'll be a bit easier to manage, right? So we've got a nice big sprue here, and it looks like all the wing surfaces, um, all your ailerons and rudder and everything like that, and it all looks nice and crisp. There's lots of nice. Little bits of detail on there. That's all looking lovely. A couple of wee bits of cleanup required on the edges of some of the parts, but uh, nothing major. And there's uh, all the all the tooling injector pin marks, IPMs are all on the inside. So yeah, just it's looking like really nice quality uh, mold injection molding. So I'm really quite chuffed with it. Obviously, once I start putting it together, I'll start finding out if there's any issues with it, but. Two more little bags. This one is just the extended range of fuel tanks. Obviously, with it being a Navy um, aircraft, they may have to go over extended distances. So we have um, extended range of fuel tanks here. So they're nicely molded. Some nice pattern in there on the plastic, but that's just on the plastic itself. It's it's nice and smooth. Yeah, and again, EPM's all on the inside. Nothing to worry about there. One last bag of sprues. Uh, these are the main wing surfaces. So let's get a wee look at these babies and see what they're like. I'll maybe zoom in and let you see what those are like. A little bit of marbling in the plastic itself, but I mean that's that's just the injection molding process. Let's get a wee scroll down and see how these actually look a bit closer up. So there's some nice rivet detail on the panels, nice deep panel lines. Um, it's recessed rivet thing and panel lines, so that's always good. Um, and you can see the construction of the wings there, how they've got the, the ribbing on it. That looks like a line, but that's just marbling in the plastic. It's perfectly smooth. Um, same on the other side. So we've got some nice rivet detail. And then all your undercarriage slots and everything. Lovely. So that's looking... Oh, let's just get back out there. So that's all the plastics. As I say, for £25, it's quite a, quite a lot of bits and bobs for your money. Right, so we're going into the decal sheet which is the final one. As I say, I think it just gives you two options for the two different Navy ones. Um, there are different... Hobby Boss do... As I say, there's later reboxings um, for the kit. Now, they appear to have... Oh, it's sellotape over the top of the... Right. So they're protecting it even more with sellotape. Like, let's see if I can... Um, Without damaging anything. The greaseproof paper has a... Oh. There we go. So this might be a little bit... Let's see if we can get in a bit. Without too much shine on it. A little scroll in. Okay, so we've got our stars. Uh, the two numbers for the two different Navy aircraft. Um, 
few markings. There's not a lot there. I have no idea if it's cartograph or anything like that. I would say no because maybe you see that catching a light, light there. There is quite a lot of film around the letters, so we'll be needing lots of set and saw and that to get rid of that. So they're definitely not cartograph or anything like that. So there is lots of carrier film around like the letter T's and the letter F's. So yeah, a bit, a bit of salt to get rid of that. The instrument cluster one isn't all that detailed, so mm, yeah, we'll see how we get on with that. But yeah, definitely a lot of carrier film around the decals. So you'll have fun trying to mat all that down and stuff like that. But that's not worried about the decals. All in all, it's a nice looking kit. Um, as I say, I've got a few more um, 148 style kits, uh, aircraft, that I will upload and show you. Uh, hopefully I've kept this nice and concise, but yeah, all nicely compartmentalised in the big box here. So it's a cracking little kit for 25 quid, all beautifully packed, all fits nicely in the box. Plenty of room for everything and I like the attention to detail on the uh, the foam packing. Nice set of clear instructions and the colour callouts. As I say, I just got this uh, Mr. Colour uh, US Naval Aircraft standard colour set. So hopefully it has all the colours that I require and if not, I'll just get whatever else I need for it. So hope you find this useful. Um, Do feel, uh, if, if you like what the videos that I'm putting up, uh, do feel free to subscribe and click the little bell icon uh, down in the right hand corner um, to allow you to be notified of any other uh, videos that I put up. Uh, also, um, you don't have to, but I have a Patreon page. I'll just uh, put the link up down here. Uh, feel free to uh, support me on Patreon. Tears start for a dollar a month. It just helps keep the channel going. Um, feel free to use the comment section down below also. Uh, please keep it constructive and uh, let me know what you think about the, the reviews. Too long, too short, need more detail in, in whatever section. But until my next review or electricity video, it's Terry from Smooth Workshop. Uh, happy modelling, guys. Speak to you later. Bye.